Alongside the public programme, the Extraordinary programme, we've also run quite an extensive education programme where some artists, Tracy and Hobbs, have been working with an intergenerational group of participants and they've been working over quite a long period of time, um, way before the Floating Cinema actually launched and they've developed lots of different workshops and activities that have looked at the sort of ecology of the waterways as well as the, the creative possibilities and that's resulted in uh, animation as well as lots of different and um, workshops and activities. Floating Cinema have asked Lizzie and I, uh, together we, we work as Tracy and Hobbs, and uh, they asked us to make a film with local community groups. Uh, we came up with the project Water Folk. The film will be shown on the Floating Cinema. We had been in contact with a, a scientist called Professor Malcolm Burrows, who's a zoologist at Cambridge University. My role in it has been to film animals moving very quickly with a high-speed camera that uh, slows all their movements down and enables to see them. And Lizzie and Emily found out about this work of mine and, and because they're interested in film, they, they started making contact with me. Using these, these films, uh, we'll be working with the children to create drawn animation. I've learned that, because when you look in the river, you just think, oh, it's just a river with ducks in. It's not, you, you, uh, you, when you learn about it, you realise how much there is in there. There's so much and you just don't actually see it. And pond dipping has just made us all realise what's down there and what, if we wanted to find it, what we could find. I learned about um, the little pond skaters and there's more life underwater, like water fleas, mayfly larvae and, and some leeches. And I didn't know there was leeches in the canal. Well, it was, it's amazing how much stuff's actually in the water. The, we, were, we were helping the kids at Lee Valley in the sort of ponds and uh, collecting the specimens and that sort of stuff. And uh, they had films out there showing them what's actually in there. It's amazing what's in there. We've been learning about the life in the water and all the bugs inside the water. And we've been, go we've been on a few boats, pond dipping, and listening to the sounds underneath the water. Today I've been using this hydrophone which basically is uh, a microphone covered in plastic so you can put it underwater so it doesn't fuse itself. So what I've been doing with the kids today is having this microphone underwater and then a microphone above water and then getting the children to explain or imagine what they can hear underwater whilst we're recording. We had like some activities and we watched a little video in a sort of cinema. It was good. It didn't really feel like we were moving, but it felt like everything else was moving and we were just staying still. It was a great experience for us. It's, it's um, working with even younger children and very good children and all. I must admit they were really, really good children and, and also doing a nature project and all and realising all the, the living creatures that are around us all the time and you know though they're so minute it opens your eyes you know the world is alive really isn't it everything's alive really uh, and yeah I really enjoyed it <laughs>